Hi right, guys and welcome back to another episode of Paul's DIY and in this one we are going to be giving the Ruby's Batman utility belt a custom makeover and as you can see I'm just removing the back material to reveal the screws so that I can unscrew each individual piece ready for painting. So you want to make sure you keep all your screws together and make sure you don't lose any because once we give this a, a custom paint job we will be screwing it back onto the Batman utility belt. Ok guys so that's all the pieces now disconnected from the belt and I'm all going to do, I'm, gonna, I'm going to take them outside and give each and every individual one a spray with the primer as you can see there and then we'll be ready to give it a custom paint job I just wanted to point out as well this is the formation that the pouches and the canisters were set out originally on the belt but if you look on the any reference photo it is set out uh, this way as I'm showing you now and not the way I don't know why they managed to screw that up when they were making the belt but this is a formation that you want to be putting them back onto the belt in so here's the paint job that I'm, uh, I'm going to be doing on the pouches and the belt buckle. I've gone for a, a dark bronze slash gold look for the pouches and the belt buckle as well as uh, using black paint dry brushed on for a weathered look. And as I usually say in most of my videos, it's best to use reference photos. You can't see in the video, but just off to the right I have my computer. And on there I have uh, two or three reference photos from the movie of the Batman utility belt from Batman v Superman. And I'm using those to get the colour and the battle damage, the scars and all that uh, as spot on as I can so it's movie accurate. So here I am adding the colour to the pouches and if you look closely you'll be able to see a grain that runs top to bottom with the pouch so it's best to have your brush strokes going with the grain of the pouch uh, instead of left to right against the grain. Uh, that way it'll, if you go top to bottom it'll just add to the effect.
So unfortunately uh, my camera stopped working, it didn't film me painting the entire buckle. But I think you get the point. Use reference photos and uh, as you can see here I'm just using black paint, brushing the excess off, uh, dry brushing uh, the black paint on to get the worn effect. Again when you're doing the dry brushing of the black paint on your pouches go top to bottom. So that's the paint job now done and all we have to do now is attach it back onto the belt. So we're just screwing in the last couple of screws ready for the big reveal. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, link below for my Instagram where you can see more photos for this. Uh, please subscribe, we're close to 400 subscribers and when we get to 400 obviously we'll have another giveaway. So enjoy!